Hello, love. How are you? Oh, I can't wait to see you in that dress. Last time I saw you wearing it, you reminded me of those big fat gypsy weddings. Oh. Mind you, I am a bit miffed that we couldn't get that first venue. The place you've got now is a shit tip. Anyway, love, are you looking forward to your big, big day? Yeah, I am. It's going great. I would have lent you the dress that I got married to your father in, but I was slimmer than you back then. Oh, anyway, your dad asked me to give you this on your wedding day before he died. Well, go on, open it. Oh, okay. Oh, that is very dad. And he also told me to tell you that if you get nervous, the best thing to do is to clench your bum cheeks together. Actually, that might be if you've got wind. Right, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I remember my wedding day. It was so lovely. Oh, your dad was so handsome. Oh, when the wedding night. Well, let me tell Mom, you. I don't want to hear about yours and dad's wedding night. You all right in there, Paul? Yeah, I'm all right. All right. Well, downstairs if you need help. Right. Hello! I'm so glad you're here. I've never been so nervous in my life. Is it because his surname's Sutcliffe? Eh? Your future husband, his name's Peter Sutcliffe. Oh, it's got nothing to do with his name. I just feel like I don't want to do it anymore. Well, I'll have him if you don't want him. Oh, hiya, brook love. How are you? You alright, Lynn? Well, I had a right nightmare getting here. So, drove into the village to get some money out of the cash machine, and I looked over my shoulder, and there was this, like, homeless man staring at me like an orc. I mean, I don't get homeless people. Like, why can't I just get a bloody house? <laughs> So where is he then? So in the bathroom, chucking up. What did you do to him last night when I went home? We might have been to a few more clubs than we originally planned to, but you should have stayed out anyway. No, I was drinking lime sodas all night. To be honest, I don't even know why Pete made you best man. He could have made me best man. Oh yeah, I'm sure he would have enjoyed his tour around the National Bread Museum. Don't talk shit about bread. Look, I do enjoy a good baguette from time to time, but I couldn't give two nans about bread. The interesting thing about nans is, and you'll love this, right? Nan is actually just the Indian word for bread. So it's not actually a type of bread. That's, that's mind blowing. Why don't you just marry bread if you like it that much? Maybe I will. <laughs> I thought you were into Sophia's friend Brooke anyway. I don't know what you're on about, mate. Anyway, you go and clean his chunder up. I'm gonna fetch some Luxator bananas. Apparently it cures hangovers, but I don't believe it. We'll see. For God's sake, where is Mum's scarlet? Are his parents going to be there? Of course they are, Mum. Oh, bloody hell, well, keep me away from that psychotic cow. Don't call it a scene, Mum. Oh, I won't. She's not that bad. She did buy some Ferrero Rocher for your birthday. I know. She might as well just have bought milk tray, though. Do you know what I bought her for her birthday? What? A box of Fortnum & Mason's luxury truffles. Cost me about 40 quid. <laughs> Oh. 
there's your tea, Lynn. I'm not sure how strong you wanted it, so I've just left tea bag in. Oh, that's fine, thank you, love. Oh, I've stolen one of Pete's can soap. Is that all right? Yeah, you help yourself. Oh, thanks. I'll go and get it. Oh, what are you doing here? I need to tell you something. What? Is he hung over? Actually, yeah, he's nearly dying, but that's not what I'm here to tell you. Well, go on then. I... Are you sure you want to do this? Why? I mean, Pete's my friend and everything, but I don't know if I can let you do this. Do what? I marry a man you don't know. We can't do this, Rich. I mean, what we had is a thing of the past. I can't do this to Pete. We could run away, leave it all behind. We can't. It's too late. I mean, I love Pete. I always will, but we can't do this. I like Pete as much as the next guy. I don't want to hurt him, but... I mean, I'll be at home. If you change your mind, you know where I'll be. You've got until we sell. I won't change my mind. I mean, if Pete wasn't around, I would, but I still care for him. And so do you. Oh, is it? Oh, you all right, Rich? Uh, yeah. Thanks. What are you doing here? Is he young lover? Yeah, he's, he's, he's nearly dying, but he'll be all right. He was just leaving, checking in, making sure we're okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and anyway, I've left him with Benny, so best get back. He's probably bore him to death, you know him. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Bye. What was all that about? Nothing. We were just checking we're fine. We're friends in college, you know. I'm watching you. Something's not right. Well, you'll think that then. Oh dear. Mother! Jesus! Do you want an after eight? What? An after eight? I can't have an after eight before 8 pm. Why not? Because that sort of breaks the whole rules of after eight. Yeah, but it makes no sense. I know, but it's just ridiculous. I mean, we, it's just bad luck. I enjoy a good after eight. And how do you know that the eight on the box doesn't mean 8 a.m.? Because the box is dark and that means night time. It can be dark at 8am in the morning. In the winter, anyway. Well, well, uh No, but it's, it's still not right. It's still not right. Anyway, I, I'm going to have to go because uh, I've got to go and get the water of service from the printer. Um, for some reason, I'm doing the whole damn stuff for this wedding. I'm, like, blooming doing everything. That Richard lad is lovely. He's always so nice. He's really handsome, too. Yeah, he's all right. He's more than all right. I definitely would. I went out with a bloke called Richard before I met your father. The lad made a decent life for himself. Got married and he has a kid. I think he went in for selling period pads. Oof, but he made a fortune with that. Every girl bleeds. Oh, come on, that's disgusting. You never told me about him, Mum. Well, when your dad was about, there was no point. We were all so happy. No point in bringing up a bad past. I was with Richard when I met your father. I felt bad about it, but I had to finish with him. I knew your dad was the one. Yeah, I get you, Mum. Anyway, so if we better go and get ready. Yeah, well, I suppose we had. Help yourself to stuff in the kitchen, Mum. Oh, thank you. Oh, I've got a present for you. Oh, God, what is it? Ta-da! Oh, brilliant. Just what I've always wanted. No, listen. Use it, you know, during the day if it gets you a bit wet down below. Oh, my God. What is up with you? You've been acting weird all day. I can't tell you. Something's going on between you and Rich, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is. Look, I won't tell anybody. You can trust me. I, I can't. You two are shagging, aren't you? Well, no. Not exactly. Well, it's obvious that you like the lad. Well, maybe a little. Listen, if I were you, I'd just go for it. But, but I can't it. He 
If Rich is the one, then be selfish. You're only going to hurt Pete in the long run if you keep lying to him. So if Rich is the one, just go for it. I don't want to hurt Pete, but I do like Rich. But bugger off then, you chicken bitch. You're just going to hurt Pete's feelings in the end when it all comes out. Oh, damn. Where's she off to in such a hurry? Off to remake a rom-com. She ain't getting married today. Thank God. I won't miss Countdown. Jimmy Osman's in Dictionary Corner. <laughs> <laughs>